NASA exposed. What if we don't have the moon? You're aware of the moon's influence on the planet, right? It manifests itself in the tides. However, there is one more effect that you probably aren't aware of. And we're talking about how the moon's presence serves to balance the planet's tilt, which in turn helps to manage the seasons. The tilt of the planet is what causes the seasons. You're aware of that. What would occur, therefore, if our moon weren't present? And does that imply that a moon is necessary for planets to have a decent chance of harboring life elsewhere in the universe? Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today we will be taking a look at the thought if we don't have the moon. Make sure to stick until the end of this video as we've got a lot to cover. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video. It helps us a long way. And let's dive right in. The huge moon of Earth was thought to have been essential in maintaining the tilt of the planet and reducing seasonal variations, according to a long-held view. Now, astronomer Jason Barnes claims that life on our planet will continue even in the absence of a moon, a revelation that could lead to the discovery of more planets in our galaxy that may be habitable. Since the beginning of time, the Earth and the moon have been great friends. Both can be attributed to a collision with a massive object that hit proto-Earth billions of years ago, when the solar system was a disorganized jumble. Similar to how Adam and Eve were created in the Bible, the moon was created from a fragment of our early planet, and ever since, the two have remained intertwined. But all of this prompts a fascinating thinking experiment. What would happen if the moon vanished overnight? Losing the moon would likely result in catastrophic changes to our species and climate, to mention a few effects, in addition to making our nights much darker and duller. The gravitational pull of the moon has a significant influence on the tides, as is well known. Earth, especially its ocean, protrudes out on both the side that is nearest to and farthest from the moon due to the tidal force that the moon exerts. High tides are experienced by the water inside the two bulges, while low tides are felt by the water outside the two bulges. The moon is responsible for keeping tides from becoming as strong as they are today. Without the moon, tides would be between 50% and 75% weaker, relying entirely on the sun's gravitational pull. Without the moon, tides would still exist, but they would be considerably weaker, causing the material to move across the world's shores at a much slower rate. Crabs, mussels, starfish, and snails are just a few of the creatures that are significantly dependent on tides to survive. For instance, thousands of silvery grunions leap into the coast to mate twice a month from March through August. The hatchlings, which appear around 10 days after this mating rate, also arrive on time for the tides. Scientists have discovered that the peak high tide, which happens twice a month when the moon and sun are perfectly aligned and exert a combined gravitational pull on Earth and the emergence of these larvae every two weeks are related. The fact that tidal movements create current, which then spreads warm water around the world, further emphasizes the significance of tidal movements in determining Earth's climate. Without tides, local temperatures could be more extreme, both warm and cold, and unexpected weather events like hurricanes would be considerably more frequent. It is difficult to forecast what would happen in the absence of a crucial component like tides, because the climate is a complicated system with many interdependent pieces, but the results would undoubtedly be ugly. Not just coastal ecosystems would suffer greatly as a result of this broken relationship. Even while the moon barely reflects between 3% and 12% of the sunlight that strikes it, it is still enough to allow for some nighttime visibility. Without the moon, it would be darker than when there is a new moon, which would be quite confusing for many nocturnal animals like lions and owls, some of which would quickly become extinct due to their inability to find food. But there would also be some winners, Rodents, for instance, tend to hide more when the moonlight is at its brightest, thus they would thrive in a world without the moon. Nocturnal or not, a lot of different creatures rely on moon cues for reproduction. Gravity, geomagnetism, and variations in light intensity are a few of them. One such case occurs every November when coral colonies in the major barrier reef undergo a great spawning, releasing millions of egg and sperm sacs minutes apart. 
The timing of this extraordinary event coincides with the full moon, and although the precise process is still unknown, some experts are confident that the moon's light plays a significant part. Light might be immediately after the presence. Ecologist David Dominoni from the University of Glasgow in Scotland told Science News for students that food is the most significant environmental cause of changes in behavior and physiology. The moon has greatly influenced Earth and life as a result over the course of billions of years. As the moon drained energy from Earth's spinning momentum, for instance, the Earth's early history saw it complete a rotation around its axis every four hours, but this progressively decreased to every 24 hours. We experience the four seasons because of how Earth spins, not because of how the planet orbits the Sun, which is tilted at 23.5 degrees. Because of the Northern Hemisphere's tilt toward the Sun during the summer, there are more daylight hours and warmer temperatures. As a result of the Northern Hemisphere's tilt away from the Sun during the winter, our days are shorter and the temperature is lower. Without the Moon, the planet's axis would wobble anywhere between 10 and 45 degrees, completely throwing the seasons out of whack. The Moon maintains this tilt. If the Moon disappeared, this wouldn't happen right away. Because Earth has a lot of momentum, but it would happen gradually and possibly quickly enough to prevent life from having a chance to adapt. Consider the fact that small tilt changes of 1 or 2 degrees have been known to cause ice ages. Is a world without moons genuinely conceivable, or are all of these hypothetical alternatives just a mental experiment? The moon was significantly closer to Earth when it formed because it was made of the leftover pieces from the proto-collision of Earth with a planet the size of Mars. When the planet was first formed, the moon may have orbited it at a distance of about 22,500 kilometers as opposed to the 402,336 that it does today. A huge moon that was up to 20 times larger than it is today would have been seen in the night sky millions of years ago if you had looked up. The moon has been gently moving away from Earth, and it's still doing so, at a rate of around 3.78 centimeters per year. This is because of Earth's tides. The moon's orbit is raised as a result of the tidal bulge, which stands slightly in front of the moon due to the planet's rotation and provides a tiny amount of energy to the moon. In other words, the Earth's rotation is slowed down and the moon widens its orbit as a result of the tidal interactions between the Earth and the moon. Both effects balance out to conserve angular momentum. The moon will continue to migrate away and Earth's days will eventually lengthen. Days lengthen by a second every 50,000 years, but this won't last forever. The moon's orbit is expected to reach its maximum range at some point in the future. 50 billion years from now, according to a prediction from the Planetary Science Institute. One side of the Earth will always face the Moon at that time, exactly as it does today, since one side of the Moon will take 47 days to complete an orbit, and Earth's rotation period will likewise be 47 days. Earth and the Moon will no longer experience tidal impacts on one another, since the entire system will be in harmony. And that ends today's episode. We hope that you enjoyed our video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts, and don't forget to like today's video. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.